How is it going guys? My name is GrahamCracker01 and I have a surprise for you guys. It is time for the unboxing video. So I just finished recording my 45 minute long, probably just a few minutes longer, uh, Minecraft video. I probably should have live streamed it and I was getting ready to go home but then I noticed a package on the countertop. And I saw it was from eBay and it was from the place directed from the place that I ordered it from. So basically, it came from the place I ordered it from. I will not disclose that, but today I will be opening the package. Now, it's not in its traditional package that you would normally see it in, but that's because I ordered it off of eBay. So let's get, get right into it. So let's go ahead. I have been hyped for this since I ordered this Saturday. But you guys are probably going to enjoy this just as much as I am. Guess what they are. Guess what they are. Hang on, guys. I'll be right back. Sorry for that interruption, guys, but if you guys haven't figured it out already, let's just open it up and show you. Oh, dang, the focus is so low right now. Okay, there we go. If you guys have not figured it out by now, they are. It is the Hidden Blade from Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and I bought two of them I got them for 40 bucks they were 20 bucks each and honestly I am just so excited to just even have these comes with one now if you're going to buy this yourself you're going to get a van brace you're also going to get a hidden blade You're also going to get, hang on a minute, guys. I'm just, you're going to get a Vambrace. <laughs> and you're also going to get a hidden blade. So let's try this out. Oh, it also comes with an on off switch. So that it won't shoot out. Open the other one. Okay, this one is straighter. So the other one I might have to fix. So let's go ahead and see if this one works. Turn the off switch off. Yes! It works! All right. So I'm probably going to have to mend this a little bit because I did buy these used off of eBay. This one I'm going to have to fix entirely, but I'm not mad. I got a one working one. So yeah, I'm still happy. At least I have one. So yeah. Now unfortunately these are the ones that you have to push back in and they come out with the push of a button. Let's see this. Boy, look at that awesomeness. Now, of course, the top of them are bendable, so you're going to have to be careful while using these. The most you can do is probably just prick yourself. It's not lethal, but I would not recommend using these unless you are a proper age. They are kind of tricky to get back in. So let's go ahead and put it on my hand. It has a Velcro system. 
the van brace has a plastic belt all right and if it breaks then of course you do have the option of taking the belt off on the inside and replacing it with full leather all right so let's go ahead and put this on It is made of bendable plastic, or at least the van brace and the blade are, but this stuff right here is made of hardened plastic, so just put this on. Oh, I meant I forgot to put turn off the button. So we got the off switch. So I will have to tinker with this a little bit, but look how cool this is. Now the blade itself is about eight inches. All right, the blade itself is about eight inches long. It, if you see, it passes just the tip of my middle finger. So you see here. And so now let's get the van brace on and see what that looks like. Now, I'm not a big guy, but it looks like I will have to replace this with leather. Because apparently my hand is just too big, but for now I'll just wear it like this. So yeah, the van brace, I bet if I took this hidden blade off, the van brace would fit. But unfortunately, the hidden blade itself is just a little bit too bulky. So my recommendation of this is that if you want this, it's probably, oh, I, I need to get that off switch back on. But this blade is really good if you buy it brand new, but I bought them used. So don't take this off likely, but still, uh... The complaint I have is that the van brace's buckle system is too short for people like me. Like I'm not a skin, I'm not a fat dude, or I'm I'm sorry, I'm not a big dude, but still, this is still kind of too small. Or it might just be the fact that it's kind of hard to put on by yourself. So yeah, I'll have to take it with that later, but. So yeah, I'll definitely have to tinker with this to see if I can get this to stay. So yeah, uh, if I were to rate this, I would rate this probably a 6 or 7. I mean, I have not tried the Edward Kenway blade or the Phantom blade or the Syndicate blade, but I know that this is probably the longest blade that they have. Because I think the other blades are shorter to like uh safety reasons so but this blade is a three-tiered system other blades like i think yeah the edward kennedy blade is a two-tier system this is a three-tiered system so of course if you buy them used you have to risk the fact that you may have to tinker with them in order to fix them like this button won't work at all so either you return it and get a new one, or you just have to tinker with it in order to get it to fully work. But of course, I'm keeping the van braces, because now I can wear them on both arms. But, of course, just make sure that you risk it, alright? Anyway guys, that is my unboxing video. Of course, whenever you, if you do buy this brand new or used, you're going to get, depending on if you buy it used or not, you're going to get a van brace and a hidden blade. The blade will not be bent like this, it's just the way it came in the box, but of course the button on this doesn't work either, so. However, the on-off switch does. So, that's weird. So yeah, I'll definitely have to take this thing apart and see if I can get it fixed. Because the release mechanism just won't work at all. Alright guys, this was my Assassin's Creed 
Ezio Hidden Blade from Brotherhood unboxing video. And as always, I will see you guys on the next video. Bye!